Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. Today I am going to explain you electrophoresis of lipoproteins or lipoprotein electrophoresis. Now the lipoprotein electrophoresis is done in hyperlipoproteinemias. Hyperlipoproteinemia means there will be excess levels or elevated levels of lipoproteins in the blood which can be a risk factor for coronary artery disease or maybe stroke. Now, how the lipoprotein electrophoresis is done? Agarose gel electrophoresis is one of the commonly used techniques which is a simple method. So the fasting blood sample is collected and it will be placed on the agarose gel. So here is the, I have written here agarose gel uh, slide here. So point of application I have written. So this is where the uh, sample is applied, blood sample is applied. And usually we apply blood sample at cathode. Cathode is a negatively charged diode. And you pass the current so at the cathode which will move towards the anode. As you see anode is a positively charged diode. Now you apply sample here at the nearer the, to the cathode. Now the principle of electrophoresis is it will be based on the charge of a molecule and also overall size of a molecule. Now any molecule which are bigger in size they will stay nearer to the cathode because they cannot move because you are using a agarose gel. So molecule has to pass through the small little pores present in the agarose. So a bigger the molecule slower that it moves towards the anode. And also note that another principle that electrophoresis works is it works based on the overall charge of a molecule. Now if the molecule is smaller in size and if it contains overall more negative charges so they all will move towards the anode. Anode is a positively charged diode. If a molecule has got more negative charges so they will be attracted towards the positively charged anode. That is why they will move more towards the anode. Now let's see the uh, how our lipoproteins are moving in the electrophoresis uh, uh, slide here. Now. Uh, we have chylomicrons, very low density lipoproteins, low density lipoproteins and high density lipoproteins. These are common lipoproteins that we study. Lipoproteins in terms of their size. So bigger is biggest is the chylomicron and then we have very low density lipoprotein. Then we have low density lipoprotein and high density lipoprotein. And also all these, uh, these lipoproteins, they will vary in, their, uh, in the amount of apolipoproteins that are present over the surface. Some of these lipoproteins, they have got different kinds of apolipoproteins and that will also affect the charge, overall negative charge present on these lipoproteins. So with all this consideration, so the size and the overall negative charge on the lipoprotein molecule, let's see how they will move. So, the first molecule that is the chylomicron, it will stay nearer to the uh, point of application. So this is where you see the chylomicron. Since chylomicron is bigger in size, so it will stay nearer to the cathode. So chylomicron will be nearer. So it is bigger in size. That's why it, it doesn't move much. And then you get LDL. So LDL, it move nearer, you will move a little away from the cathode and it will stop somewhere here. So this will be LDL, low density lipoprotein. And this is this position we call it as beta position. So this is a beta lipoprotein. LDL is also referred as beta lipoprotein. After that you get VLDL somewhere here. So VLDL although it is a larger in size compared to LDL, if you compare the size of VLDL and the LDL, size of VLDL is little bigger than the LDL but overall negative charge on VLDL is much more than LDL molecule because the kind of apolipoproteins that VLDL contains it is different than the LDL uh, lipoprotein because LDL lipoprotein it contains only apolipoprotein B100 on its surface whereas VLDL has got many more apolipoproteins. So overall these apolipoproteins they will give more negative charge to the VLDL that is why VLDL is no, it moves little further than the uh, LDL molecule. And also VLDL, it is referred as pre-beta lipoprotein. HDL will move all the way towards the anode here. This is an HDL molecule which is also referred as alpha lipoprotein. So this is how our lipoproteins, major lipoproteins, they will move in the electrophoresis. 
So we have chylomicrons near to the origin band sample of application near to the cathode. Then we have LDL. LDL is moving little away from the chylomicrons. And then we have VLDL here, which is referred as pre beta lipoprotein, and HDL referred as alpha lipoprotein. So, chylomicron, beta lipoprotein, that is LDL, pre beta lipoprotein, VLDL, alpha lipoprotein, HDL. If there is elevated levels of total cholesterol in the plasma, that means uh, we LDL will be much more, uh, the band of the LDL will be much thicker, much wider compared to any other bands. If there is elevated levels of triacylglycerol in the plasma, total triacylglycerol, that means there will be elevation of VLDL and also chylomicrons. And also note that if both cholesterol and triacylglycerol is elevated in the blood, that means both the LDL and VLDL will be elevated. So like this you can uh, correlate and interpret lipid profiles with the serum uh, lipoprotein electrophoresis. This is all about uh, lipoprotein electrophoresis. I hope this video has helped you in understanding a lipoprotein electrophoresis. If you have any question, you can put that question in the uh, comment section below and I will answer to that as quickly as possible. Thanks again and uh, see you in my next video.